Welcome back to another episode of Stonebox 2. As you can see, this room is now empty. And that's because in this episode, we are finally going to set up our digital storage. So everything that was in this room, I have moved. Much of it is in here. I've put these up here. I have our crafting station here connected to, well, our kind of crafting, I don't know, just here. Um, I have moved a couple of things downstairs as well. I think it fills up this room really nicely uh, and gives us plenty of space here to start working. Uh, let's see, other changes I have made, very few. I added a bit more decoration here. I added some uh, lamps um, here as well as up there. Another change I made was over here, I added an experience solidifier. Uh, I noticed that our mob uh, that our mob farm was not picking up experience. And I figured this was a good way to do that, so all of it here. Then, oh I have not actually set that up to go into our storage system. Something I will have to do, uh, it solidifies the experience. And then once I connect it to this, it will be put into one of our storage crates. As you can see, we are getting quite a few loot crates. I'm thinking that later on in this episode, we'll go ahead and open a couple of those and see what kind of drops we get. I have also connected up all these storage systems together. So the storage from our mob farm now connects to this. Um, these storage crates these storage drawers as well, they all connect, as you can tell by the cobble, um, to this. As does our fridge here. Down here I have already cleared out a bit of a space. Um, I don't know if it's really divided quite nicely. I am sort of reserving these inner parts here for more generators, which we will definitely be needing soon, especially with our new storage system coming up. Oh yes, and I did um, begin adding a little bit of actually additions, this empower and the display stands. Um, I needed it for, what did I need it for? Um, to craft a couple things for our mob farm. Uh, as you can see, I was also kind of starting to try and automate this, um, but I figured that it would be a lot easier to do once we have an actual digital storage system and we can actually automatically input items into maybe a single chest or directly into these things to connect them up to the auto crafter. I thought that would be a lot better to do than just trying to manually collect connect chests to this, which I'm not sure will actually work. To start, um, normally we would need an Emmy controller, but I was looking at it and we need processors. Um, I said at the beginning of the series that AE is something I'm not completely familiar with. Um, I tend to use refined storage a lot, but um, yeah, this pack has AE and I've al always wanted to figure it out, so here we are. In order to get an engineering processor, we need an inscriber. We actually need a couple of these because there are several different kinds of uh, processors we can make. Um, and this requires a flux crystal. So we are actually going to need to start with the crystal growth accelerator, which will give us the flux crystals that we need for crafting other things. So we need a quartz glass. I feel like I've already made some of that at one point. Um, it would be here. We have seven quartz glass. Okay, we will need more. Before start, that might make... that'll make three. We need one more. Uh, I'd say we need three more quartz glass. So that is made with nether crushed quartz and glass. I have begun making that here. Got four stacks of that. Okay. Why did that make so little? Wait, why are these different? <gasps> that's fused quartz! Oh, that's not quartz glass. Right, let's put that back then. That's different. Let's see. Let's just make that many. 
We also need oh, a block of this. Um. Oh, does that mean we're going to have to make... We have to make four the slow way. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so. In order to make floats crystals uh, without the crystal growth accelerator, we... Here it is. We drop one charged surge quartz, one nether quartz, and a redstone dust into a puddle next to one another. Okay. Let's go ahead and set that up. Um... Oh, I just know I'm going to be moving things around later. Let's set it up here for now. We'll throw these things in. Um, oh, no, no, no. Oh! Yes, nice, nice. <laughs> Unnatural, the advancement, nice. That, that did not take as long as I thought it would. Okay, cool. Okay, so I made a couple more of these quartz fibers and meat glasses. Um... I was thinking that we should make the growth accelerators, but considering how just the one block of water made so many of these, we actually don't need them. I thought these were going to take ages to make, but they don't, so we can just go ahead and make this, make the inscribers right now, which is great. <laughs> usually, okay, usually the inscribers we have to go and find in the world. We, there are usually like meteorites that fall and that are made of like sky stone. You dig into it, you find a chest, and you have a chance to get these inscribers. Since this is a sky block kind of mod pack, meaning um, you just have one tiny world, you don't have an outside that you can explore, um, that's not possible. So it looks like they've added recipes to make induction in the induction smelter to make these inscribers. That is awesome to me. So, four different kinds here, then I say we go ahead and make four, although for some reason I feel like I made five at one point. Don't know, we will find out. Okay, so four of those. We're gonna go ahead and set these up down here. These are easily um, automated. Although, I guess we should go ahead and just set them up right now. Later on, we can move them around to automate them. Now we need the presses. So this one is made with a block of Invar and silicon. This one with gold and a block of Invar. So two blocks of Invar and three. Okay, so four blocks of Invar? Okay. Four blocks of Invar, um, one gold, one silicon, one diamond, and one Certus Quartz. Induction smelter, four blocks of Invar. Let us start with the gold one. That should give us the... no. The logic press? Yes. The silicon press. Ooh, that's a quest! Nice! Oh, these are all quests. Nice. Okay, cool. Is this the calculation one? Yeah. Okay. So now we have our inscribers. We can stick one in each. Right, so we have that. Which one was it that we needed to make then? Here is the engineering one. That requires... Okay, so we have to do the printed silicon. We have to do the printed engineering. Okay. This is where like the automation kind of happens. Um, this one's an inscriber silicon press and silicon. Okay. Makes sense. So I put these in the wrong slot actually. Oh no, I didn't. They went automatically into the right ones. Okay. Um, maybe we'll do it this way. We are going to need a little more space up here. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, let's uh, be careful not to mess up what we have going on up there. Let's see, we have... Do I have... Yes, I have item conduits. Um, let's grab some chests. Um, do we have any here? We have three here. Let's grab some more. And 
And let's do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to take all these back. Oh, we also need sky stone. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Let's set this up first. <laughs> Printed engineering circuit. That was this and diamond. So we are going to need to input diamond into one of these inscribers. Let's go here. And that's going to input it into here. Um, I'm going to get some signs so I can label things. Because I am extremely forgetful. And I won't remember where everything is. So this one um, will give us... Let's see, diamonds go in here. And in here we have... See, now I have to look again. This is how forgetful I am. We are doing this one, okay. Diamond goes in there, it gives us the printed engineering circuit. And I want to output that here. Where are, here we go, item conduits. Oh, why does my inventory get so cluttered? Okay, this is gonna extract. And this one is going to insert. Dimes are going to go in there, it will be pressed down, and that will be extracted here. I hope it does the same level extraction. Extract. Let's try that out. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a body just with its hand? One hand up, one hand that way. <laughs> For some reason, it gives me like portal vibes. I don't know. And it has no power. Of course not. Um, we have, yep, yeah, we have this here. Ooh, that's so ugly. Okay. <laughs> um, and here we are going to need um, an energy acceptor. And we'll put that here. And, um,. We should be able to use this, right? Yes. So zero zero AE. Oh, I'm so silly. This isn't actually connected to anything. <laughs> ah. I need to connect these under here. No, wait here. Ah. How silly of me. And there we go. Now we're getting something. Yep, there we go. That looks right. And now to connect that to this. So I don't even know if we needed the energy cell there. Might not have. Okay, that did its thing. It moved it into here. Cool. We are halfway there. <laughs> Um, now we need the same thing, but with a silicon press. I wonder if these will input into the right slots. And this one is silicon, I said. And where is that one? So that goes in there. It will go in here automatically, at least it should. Oh, this is such a mess. I need more cables, though. Okay. Now that's working, and that will... I'm curious if I can input it into the same chest. So this one's extracting. Always active. This one should be inserting. And nothing. Why? Does it have to extract from this side? It might. It might be that uh, output is on this side. Yep. Okay. Do I really want everything going into like a chest? Like an 
output chest or do I want it to go directly into the next inscriber? So we get three different circuits. And are they used in multiple uh, recipes? Okay, one recipe, one recipe, one recipe. Okay, it looks like just the silicon is used in all three, but these ones are used in their own output recipes. Oh, okay, that actually makes it way easier and also means that I should move this one to the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, while we're doing this, I am going to go ahead and try and make this a little bit nicer. Uh, because this is just not doing it for me. <laughs> so I have dug out this kind of little cubbyhole thing. Um, I sort of like in the way that I did this. For some reason, I really like this. Sort of like a indented into the wall so i've done the same thing over here and let's see if this works out um i've put the energy accelerator right here uh i don't i didn't use the energy cell i don't think we need it so i'm gonna try it without it okay so down here is where we're gonna have the silicon press um maybe we can stick it this way essentially it's gonna go in here uh, let's dig down here. We're going to have to set up these cables. Uh, we'll do that part last so that uh, we can just set these things up first. Okay, all we need is the inscriber in there. That's a good to go. And next we are going to need the engineering one. And that will go into this. Oh. And that will then output as well that into the next one. So this one will have to come from the bottom. I think that works. And this from the top. Okay, so this one is extract. This one's also extract. This one, this is insert, and this one is insert. I mean, it would be good to output everything into the same chest. So maybe somewhere in the middle. We'll just do it there for now. So let's do the diamond first. We're also going to need to connect it back here and downwards as well. So that should be working. Oh, I didn't put the thing in there. Yep. Okay. That part worked. It is not extracting it though. Oh, is it because this one's not connected? Okay. That worked. Now, what about you? Okay. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, redstone. Oh my goodness. So that will be the redstone there. Let's, uh... Oops. No. By the way, I'm absolutely loving these Ender I.O. conduits. They are freaking amazing <laughs> and such a space saver. Mm, you probably have to input this behind this thing, don't you? There it is, okay. So this one is then redstone. Okay, so that has given us the engineering processor we need for the ME controller. Uh, Skystone, I believe we do have. I think our sifting setup gave us, yes, Skystone dust. Ah, you have to put it in a barrel, okay. We need four pieces of this. 
All right, let's set this up real quick. Temporary. We'll grab some lava from here. There we go. All right. Now we should be able to craft the very first item. <laughs> well, wait, what is this? Skystone block? Oh, we have to put it in a furnace as well. Okay, we have our four blocks. There were some other things we needed. What was that? Um, do we not have- oh, we need pure ones for this. I'm pretty sure a growth accelerator can make these pure flux crystals. So we need to crush these down, pulverize them down into these, mix those with sand, and get these seeds. And the seeds will need to be put- you can put them into a block of water. So this is what I was thinking of earlier that I thought was going to take forever. Um, you put these seeds into a block of water, or just in a puddle of water, I guess. Um, and it takes time, but they will grow into pure uh, fluix seeds. What are they called? Pure fluix crystals. But that takes so much time. But these crystal growth accelerators will actually make that much faster. We have ME cables. We have um, these. So that's something we can actually do. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up five of these. And then we can set them up and start growing our pure flux crystals that way. Okay, so I made five of these and um, I made some space for them, essentially. <laughs> uh, let's see, so to set these up... I do not really remember how it works, so let's let's uh figure that out together, shall we? No, I think these go sideways actually. And I don't really remember how this one's supposed to go in here. Also sideways, maybe. device offline okay all right let's uh connect these up okay oh yep that's working right so let's put that in there uh where is my this one let's fix that right up okay i actually just realized that i kind of wanted this one back that way Let's fix that real quick. And there we go. So now when we make the seeds, uh, we can throw them in there and that should take a fraction of the time that it normally would. These, we need these. Okay, so I wanted to grind up some of these. Oh, we probably only need since this will double, we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. Okay, 20 of those seeds. Okay. So basically we drop these into here and they're supposed to grow. It takes some time, but it is much faster than dropping them in the single pool of water that we had before. Okay, th those aren't supposed to despawn, so <laughs> I say while that's doing that, maybe we could finish this. So, okay, I'm remembering now how I set this up before. Um, basically, the silicon here is always going to come into here, always. Uh, we might move this down this way some actually but what we want now is to make two others of these that will then all filter into the top of this 
And all we have to do is um, put in either the diamond or the gold or the Sirtis Quartz to designate which processor we get. And that is actually much easier and requires far fewer inscribers. Uh, we'll still need to make one more, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this for now. Figure out the redstone part later. Let's close this back up for now. Let's put one right here. We'll probably also change the output. And uh, let's have the chest. I am wondering if I can't also make this somehow symmetrical. <laughs> and have it like a wall right here and kind of set it up like we have it on this side let's see if that works it might not and this one i said is what the logic processor just so i know which one Oh, that's the issue, huh? It has to be left, has to be the input. The output has to be right. You know, let's try it though. Maybe it will surprise us pleasantly. Okay, that's working. Oh, that works actually. Okay, cool. So we can't input it from the other side. Okay, cool. Uh, that works perfectly, and now we need the other one. Okay. And... Uh, Oh, right. Need another one of these. Let's check on this, though. Oh, they're done! Yay, they're done! That's awesome. Um, looks like we're also gonna have to do that with pure Sirtis. So, while we're up making uh, an inscriber, go ahead and also make the other Sirtis Quartz, uh, what are they? The seeds? Yeah, the seeds. Let's, uh... Speed it up a tiny bit. Okay, and we'll go ahead and stick those in here as well. And by the time we're done here, this should hopefully be done. Okay, that will go here. I guess we have to move this yet again. And that will go into here. What about now? Yep, that looks done. There we go. Alright, let's put one of these in here. Just one, just one. Okay, that is working. Uh, it got sucked out. Into the bottom, is that right? Is that right? Tell me that's right. That's not right. Oh no, okay, okay. That's the issue, that's not right. See, it does go into the bottom. Um... We need to change this color back. I'm gonna make everything light gray. Oh wait, I always do the wrong one. Light gray. I always use the green one. Let's go with light gray. Because it's pretty. Oh, extra. I always do that. I always do the wrong one. Okay, that can stay green. No, it can't. 
Let's do regular gray. Let's do regular gray for that one. Okay. So that should all now work correctly. Um, we need just the input for the redstone and the output. Okay, that will be our redstone input. Um, and then the output... Actually, yeah, we can just output it from here. We'll have to give it a different color. Let's make it something shiny. Let's just go with white. And then the output chest... And, 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 and... Huh, I wonder if we can connect this. And then make that output. And then just change the insert to white. Maybe that will work. Did it have to input from behind? Let's see. If I take this out and add a redstone oops into here oh why do you have glass bottles colors wrong huh okay it has to input from behind okay fine be difficult Insert on cyan. Ooh. Let's just make it red for no reason. I passed it. Oh no, no, there it is. Okay. This is about done, other than the mess I've made back there. <laughs> but I will have to- oh! Look! And it goes right in! Nice! I approve greatly. Okay, cool. I think it's all set up. That- that's- that makes me really happy. Okay. Okay, so this took much more time than I expected it to. Um, but we did get our entire inscriber setup done, and we got our crystal growth accelerator done. Having set up these sort of things before, I should know that it would take a lot more time than this. Than one episode, than 20-30 minutes. <laughs> so in the next episode, we are absolutely going to go ahead and finish this, assuming there are no more hiccups, no more, I don't know, tangents and whatnot. Because now that we have so many things being put into our uh, storage here, it would be great to be able to access them a lot quicker, um, and for that we really do need a digital storage system. Ooh, did not expect to do that. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, and I will see you again shortly for the conclusion of this. Hopefully, cross your fingers. <laughs> uh, later!